good hot sunny afternoon shopkeepers and do-it-yourselfers out there in the YouTube land got this 2011 Hyundai Sonata that we're working on today yeah Hyundai Sonata it started blowing smoke cranking hard didn't want to run so oh where's the engine oh I found it here it is here it is here it is anyway it's got a spun rod bearing and uh, we know that for a fact and I'll show you here in just a few minutes but I just wanted to show right off the top where uh, the timing marks are and uh, you get it up on top dead center uh, there is a mark on your uh, timing cover that points over this direction and there's a notch hang on a second okay here's your timing chain cover and there's your timing marks right there there's top center right there and your crank pulley there's a notch right there and it would be lined up with with that mark right there and uh, anyway back to the engine you will have I've already got the oil pump balance shaft assembly off of it but this chain would be lined up your your marks on your chains more than likely won't be lined up uh, every single time it comes around on revolution but let's see the the mark is there on the side you can see there that dot right there that's on your oil pump and balance shaft uh, it's a balance shaft as well as oil pump but balance shaft is the reason why it's got a timing mark on it so that one would be lined up and then your your uh, gear on the on the oil pump balance shaft there's a dot right there so your orange link would be right here on that on that tooth and then that would be in time <clears throat> but then your camshafts you got a little notch right there and that right there and they point to the center that uh, that end cap right there your your front uh, cam end caps are actually married together in one piece so that little uh, mating surface right there is where those two point and then when it's when the chain is on the in the right position you would have an orange mark here and here and then your your crank pulley for engine timing the mark is right down there on the bottom where the the balance shaft is there at like the nine o'clock position the main timing gear the timing mark is right there at six o'clock try to get everything lined up where you can see it and it's right there on the bottom right there right there above my fingernail <coughs> But these chain gears or these chains you probably have to rotate it 80 times for those uh, for those marks to land in the right spot but for every two times your crankshaft turns rotates one two your cams will rotate uh, once so uh anyway that's how you get it in time 
and then let me get the engine rolled over and I'll show you the damage okay there's a number four rod cap it's nice and golden color on the top of it we're just looking at the cap not not the bearing I don't have it apart yet that's a number three rod cap it's nice and golden same color as the 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 balance throws on the cam or the crank I mean the same color there but right there number one you can see it's black it's been hot and uh, the uh, the main throws they're kind of dark but I think they're just dirty uh, and it it rotates over pretty decent but you can you can hear the bearing making noise in there so we're gonna have to get the the timing chain off of it pull the main caps off and uh, get the crank pulled out of there and uh, start getting it tore down but anyway um, that's what we're doing today, boys.